Hi there, this is Tim with a video on the Elgato HD60 Pro. This is an internal PC capture card with, a, with an HDMI import. You can record, obviously, any HDMI import that isn't protected. You can record from your PlayStation, from your Xbox, and you can, in, you can record the same PC that the card is installed inside of. The card does have pass-through, which means you are not going to be slowed down by a delay in the actual capture software, the capture window. If you want to, you can minimize the capture window if you have a single screen, and basically you're not going to even feel it at all. So as I continue the unbox here, I'll tell you that I got this to replace an AvaMedia C985, which is also known as a Live Gamer HD. It's also another internal PC capture card, but the problem with it is that its max recording quality is 1080p at 30 frames a second, and I want 60 frames a second. You can obviously render out 30 frames a second video as 60, but basically what it does is that it shows you the same frame twice. Um, obviously, what that means is that the motion will be a little bit more jittery because the human eye can sort of detect um, when something doesn't have a fluid uh, f frame rate. So this is my setup. You can see it's a triple screen setup. Just actually set up the PC in this location so everything's a bit dirty. Um, I did actually just build this PC, it's a brand new case, um, and I'm going to be doing a uh, video on this build. And you can see me here taking out the back plate and uh, slotting this card into the motherboard. It can actually go into obviously any PCIe slot that it would a that it will actually physically fit in. Um, in this day in this day and age um pcie slots should be backwards compatible with um you know the x1 um type that's the card installed now on the back here this hdmi cable that's for my center screen this display port here goes to the left screen and this dvi goes to the right screen but it's obviously the hdmi that i want to be passing through the Elgato gaming capture by putting it into the in and then going out to my center screen. So I'm going to get the HDMI cable here and obviously it's a HDMI cable they only go in one way around so be aware of that shape it's um, kind of angled in at the top on on each side so that's now going out to my monitor and then I have a looped HDMI cable here that's going to go out of my graphics card and into the capture card. A little bit difficult to do some of this with one hand so bear with me as the as the uh, <laughs> as I fumble around. Okay, as far as installation, as far as hardware installation, that's it done. Um, here you can see first boot up. It's already detected the center screen. You can actually see it on the right there because we're looking at the left screen. Um, I'm downloading the drivers. Um, obviously, if you want the capture software that you need to record from this card, you have to download the driver. There's nothing in the box. There's no software in the box. All you get in the box is the card, a backplate, a sticker, and a little kind of reference uh, booklet. So you have to come here, you have to download this software. Obviously, accept and read your end user license agreements. And there's a couple of little kind of privacy and security questions. And then one thing that you'll notice with this installation is that it uh, it actually stopped for a really long time. This this green bar did not move for a long time. I just waited it out. I actually put my mouse cursor on the bar so I could see if it was even moving. Um, and then all of a sudden it just completed. And that was it done. And uh, I was able to press finish. There we go. Just like that.
And what does that give you? Well, let's go to the Start menu here um, and All Apps. You now have an Elgato folder and you can see the Game Capture software and Sound Capture application. And one thing I did have to do was set my center screen as the main screen again. You can see one, two, three. It's number two that I want as my main display. And the main reason for that is because then that is the screen that uh, single screen games will by default play on. And I'm opening up the capture software now. For some reason, whenever you change a major setting with this software, the center screen does kind of flicker black. It doesn't actually affect anything though, so I'm not really sure what that means. Um, and you can see that uh, my mouse pointer is currently over on the left. If I move it over to the right and kind of shake it around, you can see it over on the left. So it's capturing the center screen and showing it in this window on my left screen, if that makes sense to you. So let's uh, go through the settings here that I needed. Obviously what I needed was 1080p, 60 frames a second, and good quality. So video input is locked to HDMI, obviously. Audio input, I currently put stereo mix um, at the time of this video, but I've since installed an, AD an Asus uh, sound card as well and obviously that gave me more audio input options. Um, obviously put the quality all the way up and left allow 60 frames a second checked and that was all the software setup. So, so far you've had all the hardware setup, you've had all the software setup. Um, and like I said, you know, this is to replace an AvaMedia C985 and um, obviously as I just show you the other options here that was a pretty good card. I'm very happy with the 1080p 30 frames a second quality of the Ava Media card, but I wanted 60 frames a second. I waited and waited for Ava Media to come out with a 60 frames a second card, but they did not. So, what I've done though is I split the HDMI. And on the left, you can see the AV Media C985. On the right, you can see the HD60 Pro. You can see jittery movement on the left-hand side and smooth movement on the right-hand side. That's because the left-hand side is 30 frames a second and the right-hand side is 60 frames a second. So you're getting an extra fra frames worth of movement um, for anything that happens on the right the right hand side. Now you can see the individual texture quality is about the same on both. You know they're both being rendered out to 60 frames a second but the AV Media is obviously showing the same frame twice. Um, but when I switch to the Elgato there you can see how much smoother this motion is than it was with the AV Media. Very 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 happy with my Elgato HD60 Pro. It does exactly what I wanted. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. Feel f feel free to ask if you have any questions. Um, just leave them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.